Should you buy a refurbished MacBook Pro from eBay or, you know, really anywhere else? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we've purchased two refurbished 2017 MacBook Pros from different sellers on eBay, and we're going to check them out, make sure they're not damaged, and of course, see if they work. But first, if you're thinking of buying a refurbished or used MacBook Pro in the year 2023, you know, I'd really suggest that you don't go any older than 2017. And the reasons are the ports and the OS. The 2017 MacBook Pros have Thunderbolt 3 ports, while the 2015 and older have Thunderbolt 2. And that port is really obsolete. And you know, if you're into audio production or you use other accessories, you'll know that some audio interfaces and other accessories are Thunderbolt 3 and many are USB-C. And you can use USB-C with the Thunderbolt 3 ports. Yes, the 2015 MacBook I think had one USB-C port, but it doesn't support Thunderbolt 3. The next reason, is the latest compatible OS. So right now in mid 2023, the latest Mac OS is 13, which is Ventura. And the 2017 MacBook Pro is compatible with Ventura. So 2016 MacBook Pros and older won't be compatible. Now, of course, I don't know how long the 2017s will continue to get the latest OS updates, but for now they do. You also need to realize that in late 2020, Apple switched from using the Intel chips to their own M1 chips, and there may be features that are compatible with the M1 chips that aren't compatible with the Intel chips. And one final thing that you need to be aware of, if you're looking for a 2017 refurbished MacBook Pro, make certain that the release year is 2017, okay? Same thing applies, of course, for 2018. The release year should be 2018, 2019. The release year should be 2019, et cetera, et cetera. Now that sounds like common sense. It sounds pretty basic, right? Okay. But the reason why I say that is some sellers on eBay will list the year in the headline as the operating system year and not the hardware year. Okay. Now here's an example in case you don't understand. You see 2017 in the headline, and hey, that looks like an amazing deal. But when you actually look at it, you'll see it's a 2012 MacBook Pro, which actually has a 2019 OS on it, so I'm not even sure where they got 2017 from. But the point is, you won't be able to update this Mac any further. It also won't have USB-C, it has an old and slow hard drive instead of a fast and new SSD, and it may not be compatible with the latest apps. So I just wanna make sure that for people who are not familiar with Macs, I wanna make sure that they don't end up buying something that you may think is a great deal, but in the end, it ends up being some really slow, out-of-date computer that basically ends up being a brick. All right, so just, you know, keep all of that stuff in mind whenever you're searching for your used or refurbished MacBook. So here are the two refurbished 2017 MacBook Pros that we purchased from different sellers on eBay. Let's pop them open, see how they're packed. All right, looks pretty good so far. And just as described, it came with the charging cable and power supply. On to the next one. And this one is packed even better. There's the power supply and the cable. Let's pull out the Mac. Looks great, just as described. The 13 inch is in good shape. Sides look good. Open it up. Trackpad feels good, keys feel good. Look at the screen, it's in great shape, no real scratches or issues. Then over to the 15 inch, outer shell looks pretty good. 
There is a little imperfection here, but again, the description did say that it might have a few slight scratches. So always read those descriptions, folks, okay? We have a tiny ding on the side, but again, this unit was sold as a very good condition and not a perfect or mint condition. So a few scratches are to be expected. Open it up and hey, it's already charged and starting up. Trackpad looks good. The buttons click. Keyboard seems okay. There is some dust on here that of course we're gonna have to clean. And the touch bar is working. The screen looks pretty good. No real scratches or anything. There is a slight imperfection on the corner, but it doesn't affect the screen. So both units are actually in better condition than described. So now we'll see if we can set them up, connect to Wi-Fi, and of course I'll go through all of this. The 15 inch has a fingerprint reader. All right, so the 15 inch is up and it already found an OS update. Now these clips were actually filmed about a year and a half ago. So that's why it's downloading Big Sur instead of Ventura. I actually have Ventura on this same exact refurbished MacBook today. And as you can see, it still works flawlessly even after almost two years. The function buttons and the backlight are working here on the 13 inch. Let's check that in the dark. Everything looks good. Now the 13 inch has two Thunderbolt 3 ports and the 15 inch has four Thunderbolt 3 ports. And of course these are backwards compatible with USB-C, but you'll probably want to buy a Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C hub kind of like this. So you can have your standard USB type A ports, HDMI, ethernet, etc. Now the keyboards on the 2017 MacBook Pros, they use these slim switches and there's really not much travel here. Now, I don't really have a problem typing on these when I need to, but in reality, you know, the MacBooks aren't really known for having amazing keyboards. You know, the hardware is great. Keyboards are usually kind of, eh, you know, but no problem. You can always grab a USB or a Bluetooth keyboard like the Logitech MX Mechanical Keys for a much more satisfying typing experience. Let's check the hinges and the 13 inch seems to hold itself pretty well. And the 15 inch also holding its position very well, maybe even a little bit better than the 13 inch. Trackpad is working well on the 13 inch and these trackpads are awesome, man. They are very large, they're very accurate. You can use gestures, man. They are just great trackpads. Both units are now updated. And the physical condition of both MacBooks is even better than described. On the 15 inch, we have the touch bar and that's working as it should. I've already installed several programs, no issues, everything works fine. If we check about this Mac, we can see the processor and RAM are exactly as described. And Siri works. I've also checked the webcam, the mic, and the speakers, and everything is working on both units flawlessly. So if you're looking to buy a used or refurbished MacBook Pro on eBay, I say go for it. It's a great way to save some money and still get a fully functioning MacBook Pro without the retail prices. Of course, consider the seller, check out their feedback, look for a return policy and also a warranty. And also remember what I talked about in the beginning. Again, I wouldn't go any older than 2017. And being that it is 2023, if you can afford it, if you can swing it, you know, I'd really suggest that you consider one of the M1 models. So that would be 2020 and newer, because then you'll be on the latest architecture and the M1 and M2 models will of course be supported much longer than the Intel models, being that Apple isn't using Intel anymore. So at this point, I have had both of these refurbished Macs for about two years and they still work flawlessly. 
And, you know, I could still sell both of these today for maybe, you know, a hundred less or so, you know, so they hold their value really well. And if you already have things like iPhones and iPads, but you don't have a Mac, you know, adding an inexpensive refurbished MacBook Pro is a great way to complete that circle because all these devices work so well with each other. It's so easy to go from one device to another device. You know, it's really a seamless workflow. And that's one thing that I wish Windows would implement with Android. And they are working on that, by the way, because I do still prefer Windows for the majority of my work. You know, there are things that Windows does that Macs just don't do. But it's also great to be able to hop over to the MacBook. I mean, the hardware is, is it's just stunning. You know, it's beautiful, right? The screen also stunning. You know, I love the MacBook touchpads. I love how thin and light and portable they are. They're fast, they're powerful. It's great using AirDrop and all of the other interconnectivity that you have with your other devices or even, you know, even other people's devices. So it just makes for a really satisfying user experience. And again, I personally prefer Windows. You know, maybe I'll go into those reasons in another video at some point. But in reality, you know, everybody should have both systems in their home because each of them do some things better than the other. So if you're looking for a used or refurbished MacBook Pro, again, I say go for it. It's a great addition to your tech life.